Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. It's Prometheus 4K UHD Blu-ray movie. Uh, we're going to do a calibration first on Samsung KS8000 65-inch TV. The reason I got it so close, because if I bring it a little bit far out of the screen, then everything will look bluish to you because of my lens that I'm using on this camera, okay? So this is why I brought it a little bit closer. And this is a big TV, 65 inch TV. So that way you can see a little bit better of the detail that I'm talking about. So that's why I brought it really close. All right, this is the Prometheus ship. It's landing right now. And uh, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you some stills in the next few minutes. We're gonna go through some stills and then I'm gonna go through a calibration process, okay? So let's go through some stills really quick from the movie. As you can see, like the dust, how the color of the dust changes and everything, that's because I have my color at 55 and gamma at minus 3. These are just the stills that I'm showing you. I'm going to show you, obviously, my calibration for this Samsung KS8000 TV. Here's another still from the movie. Now, this movie has a little bit of grain in it, but it's not too much. You know, uh, I think it was shot in 2K, intermediate to 4K. and uh, But it's still shot with a really good camera. I believe it's a red camera it was shot with. Also, it was shot with a red camera as 3D, because this movie was also in 3D. But uh, it looks excellent, man. I turn off my lights purposely, so that way you guys can see it. Here's another great shot right here. Uh, you clearly can see the uh, outside of the uh, the Prometheus ship. You can see a difference of a color. You can see the mountains in, a, in the background here. Let me just adjust my low light. If you guys can see it, like right here, you can see the uh, mountains in the background. It looks really good. You know, the reason I'm bringing my camera so close, it's because that's the only way you guys will be able to appreciate uh, the calibration, my custom calibration that I created for this 4K Blu-ray movie. All right, let's get to the uh, really good uh, still of the movie, and I'm talking about the uh, incub incubation, in incubation, incubation, uh, medical incubation that uh, Elizabeth Show had the C-section, and then you know the alien came out of the stomach and all that. So we're gonna go through that scene because that scene it's gonna really show just how detailed this movie is in the 4K, especially on the Samsung KS8000. All right, here's another great shot right here on the uh, incubation medical uh, bay where, you know, she gets the, the baby alien out and everything. Let me show you some more stills from there on that scene so you guys can see it. As you can see, the colors look very natural. There's nothing of it that's being oversaturated, you know, what I was going for on this calibration, it's try to get that really good contrast and really good brightness and then get those deep dark levels to a decent level with the gamma minus three. Uh, and color, honestly, you should never exceed the color more than 55. I have found out that color 55 truly is going to give you that balance on a movie that you want. The natural movie cinema balance of colors. And even right here, you know, there, there's a good amount of brightness. Even with this peak brightness, you're still able to see the detail. Just look at the amount of detail here. Uh, I did move the sharpness to 20. Because uh, uh, I do want this movie to kind of pop a little bit. But the transfer looks excellent. You know, I didn't even have to do that much of calibration. I did a little bit of calibration, but the transfer is so good on this movie that I, do, I really didn't even have to mess that much. But I will show you in the next few minutes the calibration. And even here, look at the detail and, and uh, in the incubation, just the one little light that, that's pointing out uh, while she's doing this surgical procedure. 
All right, let me show you some more stills really quick. All right, we're gonna go through some more steels and then I'm gonna show you the, the custom calibration. I'm just doing this so you guys can get the idea of what I'm going for here. I'm going for vivid clarity, that movie-like experience of tone of color and picture. All right, so uh, you guys get the idea. I'm gonna go jump into a uh, calibration process really quick. All right, we're gonna start from the bottom. Make sure that your color space, it's always native, meaning the native color ratio of colors will be represented as accurately as the director intended it to be. Okay, when you're watching this movie, if you keep it on the native. Turn the R RGB mode, that's only if you're using a PC. Second important thing is the gamma. You want to make sure you have your gamma at minus three because this is the edge lit TV and you will need to move that gamma to minus three. You can move it to minus two, but I felt minus three, it's perfect. Color tone, I always go on a standard because if you go between cool and warm one and warm two, what happens is the color becomes more yellow on a warm one. And then when you go to the cool, it becomes too blue. So you don't want the picture to be too blue or too yellow. You want it to be in the, in the middle, balanced. You want the balanced color. Okay. Dynamic contrast, you want to turn that off. Black levels, keep them automatic. UHD color, it's on. Smart LEDs, I keep them at low. Okay, because I don't... I felt when I keep smart LEDs at high then the, the bending light is much higher. But when I keep it at low, the bending light is a little bit lower. Auto Motion Plus, I turn this off. Unless you're watching a sports, there's no reason for you to be having this on. The director didn't intend it to be with the uh, Motion Plus. Digital Clean View, turn that off. You don't need that. Color, I keep it at 55. To me personally, color at 55, it's a must. It's a perfect balance, honestly. It's just the right amount of color. Sharpness, I felt 20, it's, the, it's that good balance also between the sharpness of the outlining. So I, 20, it's my recommendation as always. Contrast and backlit, remember it's HDR, it has to be maximum. You cannot mess with this. Brightness, I felt like moving it to the 45. So that's pretty much my custom calibrations for uh, this movie Prometheus. Uh, hopefully you guys will write this down and uh, take the notes and try it out. All right, so before I end this video, I'm going to show some stills really quick. There's some more stills. Some of these stills might be uncomfortable to, to watch, but uh, I'm doing this to see, to, to show you like the representation of uh, this calibration. And that's why I have my camera so closed in so you guys can see it better. This is also a good shot right here because it shows you truly the balance between the bright light and then the shadow right here. So it really looks good. Uh, remember, the whole idea here is to balance it so it looks very cinema-like, natural. My calibrations are different based on the TV panel and based on the movie. Okay, So that's how I work. That's how I calibrate movies because they're all different. All right, by the way, this is a Neomorph, in case you guys are wondering, a little spoiler. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it.